Kansas, a state located in the Midwestern United States. When you hear its name, you may envision a flat, endless plain, but it actually possesses a diverse topography with flora ranging from wildflowers to grasses to trees. Here we will focus on Poaceae, the grass family. Much of Kansas was originally prairie land dominated by grasses. Kansas has three types of prairies. The tall grass region has grasses like big blue stem and Indian grass that grow from five to eight feet tall. The mixed grass region grows two to five feet tall and contains grasses such as little blue stem and western wheatgrass. Finally, the short grass region has grasses that are generally less than two feet like buffalo grass. Prairie grasses have characteristics that have evolved over time, like leaves that are often narrow, vertical, foldable, hair-covered, spiny, and or toxic. These traits provide resiliency against stress associated with grazers, fire, insects, disease, and climate extremes. The hollow circular stem, or comb, is made up of joints called nodes, from which leaves arise. These leaves are known as blades and are normally narrow with parallel veins. The inflorescence at the top is the flowering portion of the stem. It is composed of spikelets, appearing as overlapping scales like on a fish. In general, the two lowermost scales are called the glooms. The next set of scales above the glooms are called the lemma, which enclose the grass seed. Spikelets can have between 1 and 70 lemmas. In the space between the stem and the lemma is the palea, which encloses the reproductive structure. In addition, sometimes slender extensions called awns come out from the spikelets. Poaceae is an important component of our global vegetation. Grasses such as wheat, corn, and rice serve as food for humans and livestock. They also provide habitat to wildlife like birds. Other grasses serve to prevent wind and water erosion, while others make up our backyards, recreational surfaces, and clothing. For Kansas, they are the dominant vegetation and primary natural resource. About 250 grass species can be found here. Let's take a quick look for ourselves. I'm gonna live where the green grass grows, watch my corn pop up in rows, every night be tucked in close to you. Peaceful river flows where the green